Okay, here's a story we're going to see more and more and more of every day as more and more criminal justice reform takes its place in places like Philadelphia, St. Louis, Chicago, Boston, where they're bragging about the fact there are too many black people in prison for no reason whatsoever and we cannot criminalize poverty. So when one of these angels comes into our court, we have to let them out without bail. It's no big deal, is it? After all, they're not really the predators, they're the victims. Okay, so check this out down in Tupelo, Mississippi or near Tupelo, Verona, Mississippi. This dude you're looking at right here he shot somebody, killed somebody last spring, 2018. He walks out of jail on a signature bond on a murder charge. A couple months later, he's back in there. He shoots somebody else. They didn't die. He walks out of court on a bond. Put up a couple thousand dollars cash. Walks out. Now he's back in again. A couple weeks ago, he killed one more person. Let's take a listen to that story. But then, let's take a look at this sheriff trying to explain why this dude is out. It's not really the sheriff's thing. It's because the sheriff just kind of, you know, he's like the hotel keeper. He doesn't really control who goes in and out of the hotel. He just follows the paperwork. But the sheriff's pointing the finger right at the chief of police of uh, Verona, where he was arrested, who let this kid walk out the jail for free. Latavius Betts is wanted in the deadly shooting of an elderly woman that happened last week in the Palmetto community. Uh, we want the general public to know that the individual that did the shooting and the individual that was shot uh, were acquaintances. They knew each other. The motive behind the shooting that left three others injured is still being investigated. We know Betts was out on bond at the time of the shooting and was previously charged in another drive-by shooting. This one happening in Verona at a car wash back in April. Verona Chief J.B. Long tells me that the suspect was involved in a shooting at a Chevron gas station as well. You know, you've allowed a 17-year-old to make bond hoping that he'll show back up on a murder charge that now not only has he committed another one, but we're looking for him again. All right, there has been numerous questions uh, that has been posed to us about why Mr. Betts was out on bond and was able to be free in the free world when this act in Palmetto committed, uh, was committed. And, you know, the easiest way to do it is just clear up exactly what I know about this particular individual and why he was out. First of all, uh, when an individual is charged with a felony charge in any municipality in Lee County, then that individual is charged uh, under the felony statute of whatever the felony crime is. The next process that happens within a few days is there's, they have to be taken before a justice court judge or a circuit judge or the county judge and they have to go through what they call an initial appearance. That's when an individual rights are read to them, uh, they let the court know what attorney is going to be representing them. Uh, they know about their charges. Uh, and that's at that particular time, the judge sets a bond for those charges. The next thing that happens is they remain incarcerated until some type of bond is posted. Uh, and that's what normal protocol is on each and every case. On this particular case, uh, what I can tell you is that uh, in April of this year, Mr. Betts, committed a felony act in Verona that warranted the Verona Police Department to charge him with a felony crime of murder where he took the life of an individual and um, that is when he was charged with a felony crime of murder. I can tell you that uh, at, at that point uh, the, the individual was brought to our facility. Once the individual uh, was here in our facility then uh, the next thing that happened was uh, the police chief arranged for an initial appearance to be held without a judge. We have the documentation where uh, there was a bond set uh, of $50,000 for this murder charge, but it was never approved by a judge. It was apparently approved by the police chief. Uh, the next thing that happens was Mr. Betts was allowed to sign a waiver of initial where he did not go before a judge. Uh, as we can show documentation, there is also a line on a waiver of an initial where a judge has to approve that and there is no signature on it. So this was done without a judge's permission. The third and final concerning thing about this was where uh, this particular individual that was charged with murder 
was allowed to to walk out without any type of promissory note, without any type of surety or anything else. Uh, the police chief, and it states it here on our uh, bond, was able to walk out of here on a felony murder charge uh, simply by a signature bond. Uh, and he was just turned loose to, to go back out and do whatever he wanted to do. Uh, and that is concerning of, of how this happened. The only way an individual post bond at our jail is I have to approve any and all bonds. So this was all done without my knowledge outside the realm of the Sheriff's Department. And uh, one thing I want to do is, is make clear that we did not have anything to do with this individual being turned out, nor did any judge. Uh, this was solely the responsibility uh, of the police department there uh, at Verona. While he was out on bond, a few, a few months later, Mr. Betts commits another felony act where he is charged with aggravated assault and a drive-by shooting. Uh, he is arrested again by the Verona Police Department. At that time, he is taken, as protocol shows, uh, and the paper trail will show it, he does go before Judge uh, Holland in Justice Court. The concerning factor about that is, uh, what should have been done at that point is the previous charge of murder and him being out on bond should have been brought to the attention of the court because the judge at that time and the district attorney's office could have been involved in petitioning the court to hold this individual without bond until court. And that was not done. There was no knowledge. We've talked to the judge. There was no knowledge of Judge Holland about any of this uh, prior murder charge. And she simply thought that it was an aggravated assault. She sets a bond of $50,000, which is completely normal. And the individual is allowed to make bond again. And he's out on the free world. And then a few months later, he has now committed this act in the county. So it was a definitely a drop in responsibility of how a case was handled. Uh, the very mere fact that somebody's able to just sign a bond without any promissory note, without any land being put up, without any money being put up, uh, at age 17, and you can just walk out on a murder charge is, is disturbing, and this is what the results are. And Welcome to Criminal Justice Reform. I was listening to NPR the other night, and uh, they had somebody from the Koch Brothers Foundation on there telling the NPR audience about how people of color, they're all in jail for no reason whatsoever. we really got to change this thing. Please, sir, I want some more. And so that's what we're not hearing in a lot of these dis polite discussions of criminal justice reform that are on, on been on TV, and we'll see them in the next month. Everybody's very polite. They say, well, we know there's racial disparity in the system, so we have to do something about it. You know, that's what the Democrats say. That's what the reporters say. Some of the Republicans are going there, but most others, most of the Republicans just say, oh, yes, we've got to, you know, give these guys money for training because the only reason these people commit crime is because they don't have jobs. Yes. You know, I thought we got rid of all that foolishness back in the 60s and 70s when it was proven wrong over and over and over, just like this case proves it wrong I'm sorry to make you watch this whole video of this sheriff kind of stumbling his way through trying to explain the unexplainable but at least down in Verona Mississippi where black police chiefs sign away the bond for black murder suspects well I don't know how to explain that other than it appears nobody down there wants to make the black kids angry. <laughs>